Okay, we're very dark. So tell me what the story is. Go on well, So this whoops. is a restroom. Yeah. All right. It goes, the lights go on automatically. Okay, I was reading so that they, th tell me how the story. We got a variance from the Department of this Buildings. This is the New Gay a, Synagogue in New York CBST City. CBST Synagogue. Right. So what we have is one large room here that has right. seven sinks. Yes. And then anybody, male, female, transgender, whatever, can go into these different seven floor-to-ceiling individual rooms. Oh. This one would have like a baby thing, so whether yes. you're for changing diapers, the one at the end is handicapped, and everything, although this is also actually, handicapped sure. accessible. I think any of them you could get, a, you have to no, roll. each one is, is Yeah, but you could, you could get your wheelchair, no, maybe not, maybe you not. Know, to, the, to the last one. Uh -huh. And the wallpaper that okay, we had. Okay, come down here and point out some We things. had specifically made, yeah. so this goes back to, I mean, up there oh. is the first letter oh, for okay. the first member of our congregation who became who got HIV and, and died of AIDS. Oh, so that's okay. July 26 of 1981. Oh. Here's, uh, this is Jacqueline Jonay, but up there is um, Jack Neiman and Rick Reeder, his husband, when they were getting married, and that's right by Kleinbaum. Um, and again, all of this and, and the other wall, this is our history. From That's when we fantastic. Started this is just incredible. You don't, you don't have something similar, but it's really just collage. Um, no, but this is in the wallpaper. It's not oh, collage. Oh, it's not collage. No. Oh. And this oh, is, you actually had this spe right. specially made. Right, we had this made. made. And this is Rabbi oh. Kleinbaum. She's been arrested now 14 times for civil disobedience. <laughs> Here's one of the times that she was getting arrested. Was she the one when they had the Matthew Shepard demo? No, that might have been the MCC that, that they, they surrounded some reverend in a bus or something and then the congregation came and made them release them. This is just wonderful. And this goes back to Gay Pride in 75. So I'm just saying that I don't want you enough to where it's Oh, this is just this beautiful. Is, this is beautiful. So, the question well, is, you why should, is they should make the this available. Right. They but should make this. Oh, well, we this is we have a, a, a hardcover coffee book, coffee table book. Oh, really? And these things are all taken from that book. Oh, really? And again, this is only one of the bathrooms for some yeah. people who yeah. feel that. <laughs> If they're not comfortable here, whatever, you can then still go to other individual bathrooms. So just, just single like, bathrooms. So there's because there were some transgender people that didn't want this, that do want this, whatever. Oh really? I didn't so think. I would what think. What we created was something that. And you had to get a building variance, right? Needed, yes, because is in there the, anything particularly of interest here? Well, well I mean, I know all these people. I mean, are they, um, you know Michael Levine. I don't know, Michael. This was Bill Hirsch. He's, he, when I was in GID on the executive yeah. committee, he was the vice president running for president. Uh, uh, Irving Cooperberg, who um, oh, yes, got he, the money together for yeah. the uh, the Ford, Food and Maritime High School. And what is this here? The this one? is over in Bethune Street. Our first um, before we were up the ramp. What a what an unimpressive what an, what an unimpressive entrance. Well, we made a rainbow. Yeah, well, that's true. So I mean, I'm not putting it down. Dick you had a place to go. Who, who, actually, we, we lost a, f a few, almost half of our congregation. Oh, God. Uh, from HIV. Tell me about it. I lost it. Right. I, I lost, lost we're all. I lost, I once counted, nine of the most ten important people in my know, life. Chuck Tyson or? You know, I no, knew all these us. people. Just right. Okay. And this is when we were at Bethune Street. This was the. Um, and how many? How many? How many group. members are there in the gay Sunday? Night? Now we're about up to I think around twelve hundred members. Well, that's great. And we rent the Javits Center uh -huh. for the high holidays. The oh. most we've had was five thousand people. Wow. And uh, this week for uh, Pride Shabbat, we'll be going tomorrow to the Masonic Hall on Twenty Third Street because the space isn't large enough. Oh, great. So, Masonic Hall is, I don't, I don't know where the Masons fit in, how the Masons connect it with the... Not the, at all, they just have a big space. They have a big hall, they rent out to, out to and, pay the and, taxes. And we'll be able to, right, uh, that's great. That we'll be able okay, to well thank it. you very much. Do you want to tell me who you are? I'm Rick Landman and I was with the, I helped start the GLF in Buffalo, New York in 1970 and then I came down in June and I marched with the GLF up 6th Avenue. Well, congratulations. And then the March on Albany, I was oh. there in 71 
You're only and, 12 years behind me and you're... Well, I came out at 13 <laughs> in 1965. So you were one year old so when I joined the I, I was a little bit younger, but I had my fights with Mattachine, yeah. but not New York, with yeah. um, oh, Jim, no, Jim Zeiss in Buffalo. I don't know if yeah, you've well, heard the of them. Listen, I had fights with them all too. I couldn't stand most of them so. because they were so conservative. That's why I had the Homosexual League in New York so I could do what I wanted to do. Right. Well, So congratulations on this. This is wonderful. So, you know? Well, my mother sent me here in 1973. Oh, great. 